Hello, hello again. This is Brian Gormley with another edition of Where in Greater DC. It is the summertime in Washington, which means tourist galore. It is uh, tourist season to be sure. And so we are going to take a little tour along with the tourists, um, <laughs> a little bit around the city. And we've we've hit some of the tourist sites uh, already, but uh, maybe we'll try a couple a couple other ones here for the next few weeks. Uh, so uh, hopefully you don't mind, and uh, maybe live uh, live vicariously through us a little bit to uh, to check uh, check out some of the sites you may or may not have seen, or may or may not have noticed uh, in your travels in the past. As people know, uh, this is a weekly video blog about uh, short sales and all things real estate, uh, and we give away a free gift certificate to the first person who correctly. Uh, sends a uh, guest of our filming location to support at Cornerstone Properties, homeinfo.com. That's support at Cornerstone Properties, homeinfo.com. Uh, don't hit reply to the email that you received. Just uh, just uh, start a new email and um, send it on over. Uh, don't be bashful. Uh, some weeks we'll have uh, a number of entries. Others we, we won't have very many. So just because you may not have received this in the first few minutes uh, after its release, I'd still say go ahead and take a stab at it. You never know what you might get. Uh, so this week it's a, it's a little you know we're kicking this tour season off. It's a little bit um, it's a little bit of a gimme, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, I was happy guessing on that. We do negotiate short sales for free for agents and homeowners alike, so don't be bashful. Uh, get in touch with us if you have, have a problem either with a short sale file and you want us to negotiate for you, or with a problem property. We're always happy to brainstorm and or uh, buy distressed properties as well. So. Uh, don't hesitate to get in touch with our office. We'd love to touch space with you. Okay, talking today um, uh, about uh, Fannie Mae. Fannie Mae has been a uh, little bit of a challenge, and it does seem like lately uh, we have been encountering a problem with them, uh, to uh, both in terms of valuations as well as deeds and lieu. What they're doing, it, it seems pretty evident that they don't really want to do short sales these days. Uh, because they are adjusting their values internally. They are going up, up, up with the values. Uh, and it's a problem because they have appreciating market. Uh, they're looking to economize right on, on um, market values going up. And they're going to push people a little bit. Uh, so they take the BPO value, whatever that may be, and uh, adjust it up, sometimes down, but most of the time up. Internally, they have their own internal appraisal staff in uh, the Texas area. Uh, that looks at each and every BPO and adjusts upward or downward uh, from there, and uh, and then uh, we'll give you a value that uh, the servicer will relate to you. Uh, this can be definitely a problem when there are no comps to suggest uh, that that's the value. And also, apart from the whole valuation thing, they're they're soliciting people actively for deed and lieu. So uh, what what that means is they will actually go after the borrower, call them directly. Uh, either as a Fannie Mae rep or a part of the servicer uh, or a third-party subservicer and say, hey, fan hey uh, borrower, uh, Fannie Mae would like to offer you some cash for keys and get you out of this house and uh, sign over the deed and we'll be all done with this. We'll waive the deficiency and you get maybe a couple thousand dollars to move and you'll be good to go. Uh, that's obviously very problematic if you've worked for a couple months on a short sale file. Uh, getting undercut is absolutely no fun. Uh, and they're telling people and misrepresenting to people that the credit impact will be no different uh, or even better than a short sale. And unfortunately, that is simply not the case. Dean Lou is going to report just like a foreclosure on your record. Uh, you're going to have to wait a spell before you can buy again, uh, depending on whether you're delinquent or not and what kind of loan product you're looking at getting and whether the, uh, the new uh, loan uh, officer or underwriter is, uh, is able to uh, sell that loan or keep it in-house as a portfolio loan. So a lot of different factors to go into that, but be that as it may, you will probably have to wait for a while before you buy again, and there will be a significant credit impact on your credit report. So uh, not so much fun for Fannie and short sales these days. Uh, they're also uh, nixing many of the fees that are customary to be paid. Uh, we had a deal just recently where they came back and said, we're not paying any seller side settlement or attorney fees at all. Uh, and uh, some other things that they came back with as well. We're not paying this, that, and the other thing uh, that uh, per the contract was in place uh, on the seller side. So basically they wanted to pay 6% agent commission uh, and not a whole lot more on the deal, uh, which again, makes deals that much more difficult to get done. So uh, that's it for me for, uh, for uh, this time around. Uh, watch out for those Fannie Mae deals. 
Uh, you know, FHFA has not been uh, too effective at getting more investor friendly or short sale specific friendly provisions in there per se, uh, despite the uh, lobbying efforts that went in a couple of uh, months ago. And so uh, it's going to be a bumpy ride here for the next little bit. Uh, Tender guesses, support a corner of some properties, homeinfo.com. I uh, look forward to seeing you on next week's stop. Bye bye.